Well, we keep finding that elephant keeps popping in the room constantly. About annoyed with the elephant in the room. So I'm going to address the elephant that is apparently in this room. So let's all start with, with Ross Carlos, okay? For any of us to sit here and see what he looked like even two years ago and what he looks like now, to say that he has not made a transformation and put the work in to at least lose weight and make a transformation, you're a moron, okay? But there comes a time in your life where you have to be the one to look in the mirror and go, yes, I like what I see. No, I don't like what I see. But what kind of mirror do you have? Because I see my friends and my people around me as a part of my mirror, okay? I have a wife who liked me exactly the way I was. Don't have to change. Didn't do it, but for me, okay? I have a coach. An old Marine told me yesterday, man, you're killing it. I said, please don't lie to me. I don't, I don't want to be lied to. Ross, that's the attitude you need to have with your friends around you, homie. Okay? They're lying to you. You are not in any way, shape, excuse me, shape or form ready for any kind of bodybuilding contest. Okay? I'm trying to be serious. I don't want to laugh. But it's becoming overly hilarious. When do you get on YouTube, Google, the internet, whatever, and look at bodybuilders and say to yourself, oh, I can beat that guy? No. You went from this to this. But you are not this. Okay? It's no. No. Yes, you need to have friends around you who are going to support you, going to clap at you when you do something good. You do. But you also need friends around you who are going to be real with you. Man, you look good. You're not quite there yet. You might want to drop out of that contest and hit more stuff. I mean, work a little harder. You're not quite there yet. My man, you're nowhere near that yet. Nowhere near that yet. I don't know what you're taking, what supplements you're on, but I hope you understand that us people who lift understand the veins give a lot away. Okay? A lot away. I've taken supplements that have called themselves open your veins and even called themselves massive veins. They don't work. <laughs> they don't open your veins that damn much to have that many veins popping out of you. So my man, if you're going to do roids, if you are, <clears throat> just go all the way. Because that's how all these bodybuilders are doing it anyway. There's no way you're going to be natty and, build, and, and beat these guys out. I don't think you're natty. I just think you're lazy. Whatever supplements you're taking, you're not taking full advantage of. you got people around you lying their ass off to you saying, You can do it, Ross. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Two, three, four years. A lot of these guys train years to get to the point that your friends make you think you're at. I'm sure George tells you you're a good looking man. <clears throat> I'm positive he does. And it looks to me like you even probably inspired him to work out. Absolutely. We all need to get healthy. But the only way for us to grow and the only way for us to mature as weightlifters is to be honest with ourselves. You have to be your own worst critic. Okay? You're not honest with yourself. And the constant, constant, constant pictures of you flexing, thinking that it's like you've done some awesome feat and you're ready to hit the stage. You're kidding yourself. Once again, great job. Good job. Losing all the weight. And, and, and from where you were then to where you are now is, is, is good. Awesome. Us older men need to stay in shape. This country is not looking very well at this particular point. But you have to be real with yourself, dude. Come back down to earth just a little bit. 
I know that the fragrance uh, YouTube channel that you have, TLTG, has you thinking you're some god in everything you do. You're not. You're not a god in the fragrance community. And by God, you're not a god in the fitness community. Keep doing good. Keep working to your goals. You may get there. You may not. To me, your body doesn't have what it takes. You're not built like that. Your natural DNA doesn't allow you to be built with that tapered look. Okay? Some of us are okay. I, I mean, I'm losing it, but I still have some. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not ashamed of it. I like it. Is it going to slim more? Absolutely. Am I going to quit working out? Hell no. It's okay to look good. I don't know what you and your wife's relationship is, but it must not be all that great, man. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you other than you're looking in the wrong mirrors, man. Seriously. No, all jokes aside, you, you have to know when you look in the mirror, there's no damn way you stand a chance against career guys doing this shit the way you look. You've lost a lot of weight. You're hanging. You have to tighten it up. Figure out a way. Get a damn good coach. If you have one, switch coaches. He's not, he or she is not doing it. I had to switch coaches. When I feel like I'm not getting something out of what I pay for, I'm switching. Whoever has you on your regiment is, is not working you the proper way. You're not getting to this goal of wanting to be on stage. I'm not going to bash you for the rest of the day. Good job. Keep staying healthy. Eat right. But some of these guys are busting 5,000 calories a day and still look that way. You're not there, man.